anyway, we're trying to make another video on this same barbecue pit, the master grill videos I'm making. I ain't got a whole lot done. I got a little bit done. Had a lot of shit going on. My back's fucked up. Had to go to jail for a couple days. <laughs> Just all kind of shit going on. But I'm hoping to get a bunch of shit done this weekend. It's Friday evening right now. I'll show you what I got so far. I started building kind of a frame on this back side. Fucking sunlight in the way. That's where that other grill, this right here is the frame that'll raise the rack up and down. I got my son, he wanna be in the video. But I hadn't figured this all the way out yet. This right here is gonna spin. I gotta figure out the mechanism right here so it'll lock it. What I'm figuring, I machine these down on the inside, board them out on the inside to fit around there on the lake. And hopefully the rack will connect to these. These will keep the rack straight as it comes up. Won't let it tilt on both sides. Hopefully that's gonna work out. I'm not quite sure yet. It's all tacked on there right now, just in case. I uh, started started the frame for the rack for the uh, basket back here. Did some more painting on it because that's gonna be covered up. It's gonna be hard to get to. Uh, did some welding on it. The odd end stuff. Like I say, I ain't got a whole lot done. Had a couple of odd jobs, some people with, with Cadillac converters, a couple of odd and end things. Right now, I finally got a little bit of steel over here. I had, still hadn't made it to the steel yard, man. It's been been so hectic around here. But I'm fixing to start putting this pit in right here and then go from there. I'm going to put that door together. I had said before in an earlier video <clears throat> that I was going to try to patina all this stuff right here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and paint it black. I need to get this thing done and get it out of here. Got more stuff to do and I need to wrap this up. It's taking way too long and I'm already over budget on it because of building all these, cutting all these damn things out. It don't look like it, but that's a whole sheet of plate right there just in them cutouts. So I'm gonna get to working on this and let you see how it goes. Got the pit tacked in and everything, got it cut out and tacked in. It looks real good on there. It's uh, 11 inches deep. That ought to be plenty deep. The rack's going to sit up probably 2 inches off the bottom. And I'm going to put some holes in here. It probably ain't going to be to close the vent. I'm just going to vent it where it's constantly open. That way it's always burning because if you're using this grill, then you pretty much want to cook on it. You ain't going to want to. I don't see the need in controlling the heat all the time. You just raise the rack up. Anyway, it's looking good. You can see I used a deck just to lift that bottom up. I put all the pieces in around it, put a jack under it, held that rectangular bottom up. I'm going to come back and trim these corners out. <clears throat> and hell, I think it's ready to weld. Well, I'm going to brace it back from the bottom back to the trailer frame, make it extra stout. Then I'm pretty sure it's going to be ready to weld and on to the rack and figuring out the rest of that thing. And a whole bunch of crap. I may have to change the parts of this video again and add at least one more part to it because, man, this is a lot of damn work going into this thing, and I'm trying to show y'all a little bit of all of it. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and trim these corners off and get this jack out from under here. It'll come out now. I just couldn't hold that thing up out of there by myself. So that jack comes in handy a lot of times. But I'm going to get back on it and get some more done. That I took off. You see I got the uh, bottom two sides on. I'm just plug welding. I drilled a bunch of holes where the pieces go. And then I'm just plug welding it from the back side after I clamp it on. I put primer on there. And I also put primer on the side of those that go on. 
just to try to stop some of the rust in between there from dripping out. cage in on the back side was going to do a basket but I'm just now going to do a I mean I was going to do like a uh, a closed in container on there but I'm just doing a basket still got to put the bottom and the sides in built design for the side of the basket probably got to put pointers in everywhere remember I said I think this was going to be or a crank drill. I'm thinking now about taking this part off and just making an open top right there where you can adjust the rack. Put one of the doors back on. You can see the designs in it. There'll be another thermostat right there where that is. I have to make some kind of stops for that door to stay where I want it to stay. The door is down there. I still have to put it on the designs into it. Got some overspray purple on it from something else. But everything's coming along good. Probably gonna have to do another part on this thing. There's just no way I can squeeze it all into one. But that right there is what we got so far.